Michael, 
What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. And um, I'm going to ask uh, Michelle Kamal, the mother of Abdul Kamal, to talk now. We are so sorry to receive the news that there was no indictment in this case. However, we were not surprised because this is the track record of, of grand juries, of state grand juries, county grand juries in these matters. And I was, I was uh, very hurt when I got the verdict today, very hurt. So right now, and I can't say though that I was hurt more than the lady that's gonna speak now, and that's Abdul's mother. So give her a hand. Power to the people. Power to the people. Hey. I, first I wanna thank everyone for coming out, but you know, they told us basically from the beginning, no indictment. Um, it wasn't across the board. Some people wanted to indict, but the majority ruled. Um, they didn't tell us how many. They said they couldn't tell us that. Um, hurt is just like, in a sense, he was murdered all over again. Um, not as extreme, but it was a hurt. It was a disappointment, but we knew this was going to happen. Um, so we, we, you hope, as Chairman, uh, Vice Chair Larry said, you hope for the best and you prepare for the worst. There you go. And that's what we did. Um, but I'm good. I'm 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 okay because we have a lot of fight in us left, and and I'm not going to let my son is not coming back. My son is dead. He's never coming back. But we have to continue to to do what we do because it's going to be somebody else's child next. Um, it's going to keep happening. It's not going to stop. I heard on WBAI this morning about this young girl, 17 years old, in Denver. I'm being shot and killed by the police. I don't know when it happened, but I think it was recently. So it's going to continue to happen. But we have to, you know, pray for those in other states and other cities. But we have to take care of New Jersey. We have to take care of New Jersey first and help everyone else as well. Um, a lot of focus is on uh, Missouri and a lot of focus is on Staten Island. But we have cases right here in New Jersey. We had a meeting at POP last Thursday before last. We had three mothers in one room where their child children were shot and killed by police officers. That's insane. So I just want to thank everybody again for coming out. We're going to continue to do what we do. We're not going to stop. Um, when I go out and when I speak, I don't just speak for my son. I speak for Kashad. I speak for Jerome. Um, we had a panel discussion at Essex County College Monday night. Um, it was well attended. It was, it was a lot of people. A lot of people had a lot of emotion, a lot of questions. But I said, this is not just about my son. This is about everyone's sons and daughters. So we have to continue to hold each other up, and we have to continue to do what we do. And again, I thank you for coming out in the cold. Thank you. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Our next target is the U.S. Attorney for the State of New Jersey. Now that the county grand jury has done what it usually does, we are going to appeal to the United States Attorney for New Jersey, Paul Fishman, to launch a civil rights investigation into the murder of Abdul Kamal. This is the next phase of appeal that we have in order to try and get justice for Abdul Kamal. So what we need people to do now on Monday they're closed because it's a holiday. But Starting Tuesday, we want a barrage of phone calls and emails to Paul Fishman to let him know that we want his office to look into this case because we believe that justice has 
not been served. They said there was a majority vote of the grand jury. Well, there's been a majority vote on the Supreme Court, and we can't say justice has been served there, can we? Just because it's majority does not necessarily mean it's right. And I'm glad there were people, I'm glad there was a minority on that grand jury that wanted to bring charges. I want to know what the racial composition of the grand jury was. Because you're supposed to have a grand jury of your peers. I want to know how many black people were on that grand jury. And how did the vote break down? And I want to know what the vote breakdown was. Was it a close vote? People talk about reparations for slavery. We should be demanding reparations for all the people that have been victimized by the criminal justice system for the last 150 years? How many people have been falsely arrested for the last 150 years? How many people have been sent to prison unjustly for the last 150 years? How many black men have been sent to death row for the last 150 years? This week they had an article in the New York Times, did you see it? There was an article on lynching in the New York Times, thousands of people have been lynched. Thousands of people have been lynched. Nobody is ever going to jail for all the black people that have been lynched. I think they should do another study. I think they should do a study on how many unarmed black people have been killed by the police for the last 150 years. If you added the number that has been lynched, to the numbers that have been killed, unarmed people that have been killed, you got a holocaust right there. You got a holocaust right there. We want justice. We want justice for Abdul Kamal. I, I want some fast walkers. Those of you who can't walk, get in the car. I'm going to the justice bill. Y'all stay here if you want to. I'm going to the justice bill. And if there's any strong enough to walk with me, let's walk. I'm not going to let this mother cry today and just stand idly by with my hands folded. I'm going to point the way today, and the way that we need to go is to the U.S. Attorney's Office for him to bring civil rights violations. If I got to walk today to the Justice Department by myself, I'll go by myself. But I know some of y'all ain't going to let me go by myself, are you? And some of y'all going to walk with me, ain't you? We're going to walk together, right? We're going to walk for Abdul, right? Abdul is not going to die in vain. I don't care if it's a handful of us. We're going to walk to the U.S. Attorney's Office, and we're going to demand justice. And I'm going to walk in the street, too. Even if it's by myself, me and the Vice Chairman, we're going to walk. In the street. In the street.